Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Legends of Frontera video, this time featuring a deck I like to call Long Live the King. Why is it called Long Live the King? Well, the answer is simple. It features the Poro King himself, one of the three newest revealed champion that came to Legends of Frontera in the most recent expansion, Heart of the Huntress. Um, he's a Runeterran champion, as some of you may know, you can also see it in here. And he's just a phenomenal card, honestly. It's one of the best, if not the best, Runeterra champion Riot ever designed until now. And it's not only me just saying it. I've seen many comments on, you know, the subreddit. And of course, I've seen other content creators play with him. Everyone seemed to have a blast. It's just a fantastic card design. Well done, Riot. Honestly, well done. Finally, a good, fun Runeterra champion. And also, on top of that, fairly balanced. Now, right now, as I'm recording this video, of course, you're gonna watch it, uh, well, I believe tomorrow. I'm gonna upload it as soon as I can. Uh, this is the first day of the expansion. And right now, he is around the, I say, a tier so and so definitely not an s tier definitely not like a giga busted card but poros are competitively viable that's that alone is insane because if you like me and you know you played for a few years i played ever since the shurima expansion came uh, when shurima was a new region and new newly introduced into the game and poros in my time were never a thing never never competitively a thing now with this single card, they are, and they're super fun to play, everyone enjoys them, at least as far as I've seen and heard, and that include myself. Now, you can already tell this is the build water version, because the build water version is the best, but I promise you, this is not your regular Bilgewater version that you see on any website or on another streamers, well, hopefully on another content creator's uh, videos, because you know, you, you know me, uh, I just love to be, you know, a bit different from the rest. I don't want to build the same thing other people have built. Uh, that's just not me. I like to build my own deck and, of course, make them actually good and competitively viable because I'm a competitive player. And this deck is no different. So let's actually jump into the deck guide and let me actually show you my version. So, uh, as you can see, every single Poro, we got one copy of each because we want to level up the Poro King as fast as possible. Now, we should talk about the Poro King real quick because the deck is built around him, of course. So, uh, the Poro King origin is the Poro King Decree. The Poro King Decree is you may put any non-champion card with the word Poro on them into your deck during deck building. So that means you can put cards with the word Poro on them and not necessarily Poros like Poro Stories or Poro Snacks. And what the Poro King himself actually do uh, does, I guess, um, each round is a 5-mana 4-4. Four, four. Each round, the first time you summon another Poro, create a Poro Snacks in hand. As you know, Poro Snacks is this. 3-mana burst speed. Grand Poro L is everywhere, plus 1, plus 1. And the level up condition, you've summoned 6 plus other new Poros. Fantastic. Really easy to achieve. Uh, really not quite, uh, not difficult at all. You just want to play 6 different Poros anyway. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you don't necessarily change anything in your deck to achieve that. That's super easy. You're gonna consistently leveling up, leveling him, uh, him up uh, by turn six, and of course, uh, his level up. <clears throat> Each round, the first time you summon another power, create a random special snacks in hand. So you don't create a power snacks anymore. You create a special snacks. Uh, these four are the special snacks. You can pause the video and give them a quick read. No need to go through all of them. Uh, they are all really, 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 really good. Some are better than the others, but, you know, they're all just insanely powerful. So, that's the Poro King. 
Now, the reason we run one of each copy of Poros is because we want to level him up as quick as we can because he needs different Poros to be played to level up. And of course, three copies of Lonely Poros because Lonely Poros keep generating more Poros for you, which you want because they're going to be all buffed up or I guess beefed up. And of course, three copies of Powdy Poros. Powdy Poros. Uh, is a one mana one one of course, but he have an empowered three overwhelm regeneration and tough now Getting empowered three with a powdy power might just be the easiest thing you can do with this deck and That's not all thanks to the poro snacks that actually belongs to another card the siren song this deck is the reason why I mean this card is the reason why this deck is Bilgewater in the first place because this card is as you can see belongs to Bilgewater region now what does this card do it's a four mana slow speed spell that says summon a random husk grant one cost allies everywhere plus one plus one now as you know pores are one cost this card is basically four mana Literally give everything in your deck plus one plus one and don't and you know the first line of summoning a random husk Don't underestimate this line. It is insanely powerful actually playing this on four Because it's a spell and you can play it with spell mana of course and then playing a poro will just generate a humongous poro for you to attack with or, you know, just have a random keyword or just a beefed up unit. It has a random keyword. And, of course, he get a plus one, plus two from the buffed husk. And crazy, crazy powerful card. You want to always, always, always hard mulligan for this card. This is your win condition. You should always mulligan for this card. Always. No question asked. This card is just insane. And now, I did promise you. This is all the generic parts of the deck. I did promise you to be a bit different from the other content creators. And what do I have in my deck? I have two copies of Aurora Porealis. Uh, create two random powers and two powers next in hand. Six cost burst speed. You all know this card. You all love it. Uh, I see many people, uh, you know, skip it. Uh, and because it might just be too expensive for them and they kind of want to rush this. I found this card to be a really phenomenal card in this deck. The Poros Snacks are incredible. You always want value since you have zero card draw, basically. You only have three copies of the Poro Herder. So you do want generation. Now, that being said, this is not the highlight of the deck. The true hero of this deck is the heart of the fluffed. Now, I know, I know, you're watching this and you're like, you're crazy. Heart of the Fluffed, this is anti-synergistic. You need a one cost unit to get buffed by the Siren Song. And this is a six cost. And you want to spread as far as possible, as wide as possible. Because you want to spread and, you know, make your opponent sort of have to block all of your units. Or not have enough blockers and win the game by spreading. Well, you're wrong. And the Heart of the Fluffed is an insane card in this deck and I will die on this hill if I have to. This card is a game winner. This card is a tremendous finisher. I believe one of the reasons is such a good finisher is because nobody expects him. And let me just tell you something. You're gonna see in the games to come and please do watch all the games. This card is insane. Insane. And believe me, I did not handpick the perfect matches for you to watch. This literally happens consistently in almost every single match I've played. People are just aren't ready for the heart of the fluff. I'd even say you might just want to take one copy of the Poor Stories and actually put one more copy of Heart of the Fluff. Of course, you don't have to. You can make any changes you want to this deck. I'm not strict with my, with my decks. You can be as flexible as you want to be. But this is just a recommendation. And trust me, you'll have a blast playing this deck. Uh, and that's pretty much the standard deck. Of course, you have two copies of Play for Trickster. People run three. I 
uh, took down uh, one copy and also two copies of the affectionate Poro to put the Aurora Porealis and the Heart of the Fluffed. Uh, you can take something else if you want to, but trust me, you should play this deck. This deck is super fun, and I'm just gonna say it one more time. Well done, Riot. What a fantastic Runeterra champion design. I wish we see more of the Poro King or cards like the Poro King uh, in the future expansion. I can already tell you by the little amount I've played this expansion, I, all, I only have been playing for a day and this expansion is already seeming to be one of the best expansion they ever released, at least, you know, when I started playing this game. And yeah, phew, that's a lot of minutes I just spoke right now. So <laughs> I hope I didn't bore you. Uh, you know, uh, thank you guys uh, for reaching until this part of the deck guide. Let's continue into this game. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, Nico and Aura. Interesting. Dun, dun. Uh, yeah, I kind of want Siren Song. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I had it in every single opening hand. I mulligan for it every single time, and every single time I got on it. It's actually insane. And I also got the poor king in hand, which is okay. I mean, it's nice to have a poor king in hand. Hopefully, we get a Poudy Poro soon. Not the end of the world if we didn't, but could be kind of great. So, pass. Always remember to have two spell mana banked when you go to turn three or more because you want a Siren Song and then you want to play a Poro. Hopefully, we get a Challenger. Elusive. Elusive is fine. So we can play the. We're against Battle City. So we can play the Spell Shield and Elusive. Uh-huh. Let's actually give it to the quick attack one. Kinda want him strong. And now he can't even Nora, which is great. Oh, there's a party for her. Okay. Well, the good thing is that he doesn't have any removal spell, so I can pretty much do whatever I want. What is this? Uh, if an ally have a defense of any, given a minus two this round. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, I guess we play you. Obviously, keeping the Poro fly just in case we won't get another Poro for the Poro King, uh, which is highly unlikely, but still might be possible. Oh, wait, you played her normally? Okay. So, pass. Mm hmm. There we go. Should be good. Wow, the Powdy Poro is such a good card. Oh my god, in this deck is actually insane. Uh, let's play Poro King, see what it does here. Brett. <laughs> That's fine. So we do this, right? Start building up a board. How close am I to leveling up? Not that close. I'm halfway there. Uh, I mean, poor stories is great. Deck hunter, play on a different time. Me, sure. Yep. Is Nico leveled up? Soon. Okay. Oh my God! Heart of the fluff is actually crazy. Yeah, of course, that's Nico. Mm -hmm. And what a sick level up animation. I mean, well. Wait, 
Do we just go for the finish? I mean, all I need to do is this, right? And like, obviously this, and this survives. This also survives. Okay, this, this is just a big question here. I just go for the finish, right? Yeah, yeah, I just go for it. I just go for it. There's literally nothing Bendel City can do against that. Literally nothing. No Portal Palooza can stop me. Nothing. That's... That's actually should be a W. That should be... <laughs> a Heart of the Fluff W. Right? Let's go for it. <laughs> oh my god. We leveled him up! Our king! Oh my god. Oh, that's super fun. <laughs> yes, yes! Oh my god, that's the best game so far. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, is that Gwen? I literally didn't recognize her for a second. I, th I thought it was a new champion or something. Uh, okay, so Gwen Sejuani, I guess it's featuring the new weapon, the Hallowed weapon. Uh, knowing that, do we keep the poor king? Nah, let's just mulligan for a siren song. Maybe we get poor king. Oh my god! <sighs> okay, then I've been so lucky. So, I can play the party poor. But a joyous one. Come in, come in. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. Tonight, it's young. Okay, so now we do this. Uh-huh, and now we definitely play the Power de Poro to gain all of those sweet stats. Sure. And we actually attack because he got regen, so it does not matter. Okay, now he have Gwen 100% because that's just how Gwen Dex works. But that's totally fine. I think I'm gonna take the hit and still play a Siren Song. Because I really need the stats. Three sisters. That's interesting. Why... Why would you have... Oh, okay. I mean... Sure. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Okay, so now we spread like madmen. Oh, poor snacks is actually huge. Lonely Poro, get the challenger. And men dies. So we play this. Now I'm pretty sure we just spread, right? There's no reason not to. There's literally another reason not to. And that's like an Omega all attack. Sure. He's in shock, dude. He can't even fathom the amount of power. <laughs> on board right now his brain his brain just died so I can't even attack with the power harder because everything got like one or two HP so that's totally fine and our opponent probably just rage quit 
fantastic. I love to see it, dude. I love to see it. Please continue doing this. Yep, he's doing it on purpose. Totally fine by me, my guy. I really do not care. You can be toxic. You can baby rage and take all the time you want to pass the turn. I'll still be here and I'll still beat you every single time. I don't care if you try to waste my time. I'll be here. I'll just alt tab and watch a YouTube video. I really do not care. Ah, mm. delicious tears. Delicious, dude. Yep. Okay, down to five. Perfect. I can't see what went him the game here. Unless it's like something super specific. Even that, I can see like how, how he wins here. With, um, I mean, one spell mana and like six mana. Seven mana. What can you do with seven mana that wins you the game here? You play Gwen, that's four. You have three mana for like what? Like still no overwhelm, still no... Any meaningful keyword. Uh, yeah, that's that should be game. 100%. Yeah, keep on stalling, dude. Your tears are delicious. Delicious. Keep stalling. Keep it up. I love it. I enjoy it. I savor it. I thrive off it. Now, this dude is gonna instantly concede the moment I attack. Instantly concede. Bone Club, bruh. Uh, well, sure. Stand swap. Okay. Uh, no, if you defend this, it dies. Let's actually kill it. Because why not? Because we can. Okay, now let's see if I was right, and he's actually going to instantly concede. Dun -dun -dun. No, he actually let me go through. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Ooh, Power King mirror match, but the Masia Power King, that's interesting. Uh-huh. Well, definitely not the pool shark. Uh, well, actually, I'm kind of want to mulligan this entire hand. Okay, great. I, I just want to find, like, one siren song in my opening hand, at least. Uh, Heart of the Fluff is... Ah, uh, Demacia matchup. Yeah, it is good against Demacia matchup. That's actually pretty great. So... Uh, do we pass? No, we play the... Sinister Pro. Oh, Lonely Poro. He's about to become happy again. Just wait for it. Oh, the poor herder could be such a good thing to play right now. But I kind of want a Siren Song. Yeah, I'll not be tempted for the card draw. I'll take. Three damage, that's totally fine. Now we hit the siren. If you wanna for some reason duel this one, totally fine by me. <clears throat> He's gonna waste two mana for a 1-1, one, one, which is perfectly fine by me. Oh my god, we got the challenger. Oh, what a huge hit. <clears throat> So we actually can nimble pour into the challenger, which is insanely good combo. To me! Yep. That's actually insane. That's huge. That's actually huge. Lonely pour is... Ah, what do I do here? Okay, I guess it depends. Let's see what he plays. I'm, I have the option to spread, I have the option to draw, and next turn purse, next... Um, interesting choices, choices. Decisions to make. Funniest thing, I can actually heart of the fluff and there's nothing you can do about that. 
Uh, let's draw. Now, where did that one run off to? Perfect. By the strength of our interesting. Dawn speakers. Uh, grant on an elephant. I like that round. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay. <laughs> So I guess now we play the one with the spell shield. And do we pour a snack open attack? Where they go off to? Uh I'll block it, bro. Sure. It's not everywhere, it's just other on board. Which I do not care. Perfect. Top deck. He doesn't have a Garen or something like that. Okay, poor stories, totally fine. Uh, yeah, you gotta go. And this... All attack. Awesome. Now, if you use a buff to save the Dawn Speakers, that would kinda suck. Uh, that being said, he wasted his entire mana and his board is pretty meh. So that's totally fine by me. Perfect. Oh my god, he didn't have it. So... Oh wait, I'm actually in a... Kind of a problem here. My board is full. Okay, he's spreading as well. Ugh. Oh, that's... that's bad. Okay, I do have the Heart of the Fluff, though. Which I need to get on board, because I can win. Okay, let's pass. See what he does here. Okay, so now I can just go for the finish. Let's go! Let's do this! And he has Spell Shield, Overwhelm, and everything else. And even if he full swing, I still have full HP. I mean, not full HP, I just have a lot of HP. So even if he challenge and full swing, that's totally fine by me. And we go for the W. Come on, man, give it to me, give it to me. The heart of the fluff and win. Pass. Let's actually challenge the Poro King himself. Just in case. <laughs> the heart of the fluff. You have spell shield. What the Masia can do? The Masia can't do anything against that. <laughs> I told you Heart of the Fluff was insane. <laughs> Oh my god, they just, they, they just can't deal with it. And that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you did enjoy watching this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe for more uploads. It really helps the algorithm when you do. Now, I truly hoped you actually tried this deck at least once and just enjoyed it because it's so tremendously fun deck to play. I definitely gonna experiment more with the Poro King and see what other regions might be compatible with him. Uh, for now, it seems like Bilgewater is kind of the only region, but maybe it will change in the future. We're gonna go through other champions. Uh, for now, so we're gonna put the Poro King on hold. There are so many cards I'd like to explore in this expansion. Every, almost every single card they released is actually super interesting and just a fantastic design. So stay tuned and may, you know, hopefully you watch my other videos. I'm gonna upload more frequently now when the expansion is fresh because I know you guys don't wanna wait three days to watch videos, so Right now, there's a lot of content to be doing. I'm actually overflowing with ideas, which is a good thing. I haven't felt this in a while playing this game, unfortunately, with the Glory of Navori expansion. But right now, this expansion is seeming 
you know, just seeming to be one of the best expansion they ever released into this game. So I hope you guys stick with me for, you know, my upcoming videos. And if you did enjoy, let me know in the comments below. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.